Uh, when he went through um, basically combat survival training, he remembered talking with an instructor about a tap code that World War II prisoners used and uh, so just by chance he happened to learn about that and when he was taken into captivity he taught it to a couple of the other guys that were there um, and as they moved around the prisons um, in Vietnam it spread like wildfire and uh, became a, a very key lifeline for them to communicate. Just watching him, he got more emotional thinking about how she was while he was in captivity and I'll never forget, just very powerful, very emotional. So he uh, started out enlisted and decided he wanted to fly, so he uh, got commissioned, cross-trained into F-105s, um, and did a couple of uh, combat tours over Vietnam, and it was shortly thereafter, I believe it was his second tour, um, that he was shot down. And he was a POW for about seven years, and so one of the longer um, remaining POWs over there. Uh, came home during Operation Homecoming, uh, reunited with his family, his son, who he had never met, um, who was born after he was taken into captivity, um, his two daughters. It was actually very humbling to, to speak with him because he does not consider himself a hero. He does not consider himself worthy of being considered an eagle, and, um, which absolutely just astounds me because he and his wife are both incredible. The things that he kind of talked about, like I said, doing things for the patriotic um, you know, sense of duty and sense of country, uh, that, that resonates with me because for a lot of what we do, uh, I mean, we've known nothing but war since, you know, my peer group commissioned. The optimism, um, particularly in my line of work when we talk about uh, force support and taking care of the people and the families uh, and the airmen, it's, it's important to me that we provide them with some kind of positive view of the Air Force and that's really what he maintained was, it, the situation is what you make of it. You can either kind of wallow in it or you can maintain that hope and, and he definitely did. The fact that he and his wife took us out to lunch and treated us to all these things like we were the ones that were important. Um, so I, I'll never forget that. Easily the best moment of ACSC for me.